Hi, my name is Shelly, and I'm with Sailors for the Sea Powered by Oceana. Today we're going to learn about the intertidal zone, which is where the ocean meets land between the high and low tides. Sea creatures and plants arrange themselves vertically in the intertidal zone, depending on their ability to survive extreme conditions, including changes in salt concentrations, drying out, sun exposure, and predation. The intertidal zone is divided into four distinct regions. The spray zone is dampened by ocean spray and only submerged during very high tides or severe storms. The high intertidal zone floods during the peaks of daily high tides, but remains dry for long stretches of time. Only hardy or mobile sea life, like barnacles, marine snails, mussels, shore crabs, and hermit crabs can survive in this area because they can either close themselves up in shells or can retreat to a submerged zone. The middle intertidal zone is inhabited by a greater variety of both plants and animals, including sea stars, anemones, and certain seaweeds, because it is covered and uncovered with seawater twice a day with the changing tides. The low intertidal zone is exposed to air only during the lowest of spring tides. Life is more abundant here because of the protection provided by water. Many plants and animals found in the zone attach themselves in place and are very sturdy and flexible to withstand the strong waves. Today we are going to mimic how different marine animals and plants adapt to the extreme conditions in the intertidal zone. For materials, you just need the following items. First, you cut your paper towel into smaller pieces and then using a pencil or a crayon, label each piece a different number. Now you're going to have your kids experiment with the different paper towels and see what happens in different conditions. So you can have them fold the paper towel, crumple it up, leave it flat, use fresh water or salt water, even put it in a container or in the sun in the shade, and then we're going to monitor what happens over time. Have your kids write down what each number represents and monitor the pieces of paper towels at one hour, six hours, and one day and see what happens. Which ones stayed wet the longest? Are they similar to any creatures or plants that you may find in the intertidal zone? Where would they be found? For example, the ones in the sealed container may act like a barnacle or a mussel, which close up when exposed to air to prevent drying out and could be found in the high intertidal zone. If you're interested in downloading this activity, head to our website at sailorsforthesea.org and click on kelp. We also have 50 other marine science lesson plans to help educate kids about marine life and our oceans. Thanks for joining today.